Hello, everybody. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com guide to Cyberlink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in Power Director Ultimate in a project we want to burn to a DVD or a Blu-ray disc. To get to that workspace, we go up to the Produce button here at the top center of the program. And then we go under the tab here at the top to Create Disc. Here you'll find, of course, all of the menu templates that are available to you as well as the option to go to the director zone where there are thousands of templates that are created by your fellow users free for you to download and to use as you see fit. But we've created a little menu here, a basic menu, and we could modify this if we want. We could change the background for the menu. We could change where these little text boxes appear and we could modify the template in any number of ways. But there are also other ways to modify how the DVD behaves or the Blu-ray disc behaves right here on this page. Now, by default, most of these menu templates include animation and music. And if I were to preview this by clicking the button in the lower right hand corner, you see there's music and animation. Actually, that's a pretty interesting template. But if you want, you can swap in your own music. To do that, just go down here to the lower right hand corner where it says background music and check on the option to set background music. That's a little music note with a plus on it. When you click on that, you'll be able to browse by clicking on this button here and select any music you'd like to be the background music for your menu. So let's click on that and we'll browse here to my music library and we'll grab a song here and open it up and now that song will now be the background for my menu. You notice I have the option of only swapping it in for one page of my menu or for all pages. Let's go ahead and just apply it to this page. And now that will play rather than that production music that comes as part of the template. We also have an option here to add a first play video. That means when your viewer puts your disc in the disc player, there's something that will play before this menu comes on. Maybe your logo, for instance, and in fact, that's what I want to put in there. If I go here to the first play video option and click on this plus button, set first play video, I can browse then to, for instance, my logo and add my logo here. Click open. And now when we preview our movie, we're going to see my logo before we see the menu appear. So this is what the viewer first sees, puts the disc in the disc player and my logo comes on. And then once my logo plays, we go to the disc menu. So as you can see, there are a number of ways to make these DVD menus or these Blu-ray disc menus your own. You can use existing templates. You can use templates that other users have designed and have given away free there on the director zone. Or you can customize and create your own personal menu very, very easily. A lot of great, powerful tools available here in CyberLink Power Director. You want to know a lot more about this program? You want to know everything about this program? Check out the moviepicks.com guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. It is just packed full of information about this program and it runs pretty deep. There are a lot of great, very highly professional tools, and very powerful tools available in Power Director. Well worth getting to know. I'm Steve Grizzetti. I wrote the book. I hope you'll check it out on Amazon.com. I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.